ties it up. We're in probably, you'd say, your favorite spot to go take a one-timer here. Yeah. So when you're taking a one-timer, are you looking for a specific spot on the net to shoot at? Are you looking, like you said, to just get it on net? Um, are you reading the goaltender's positioning? Kind of what's your thought process on kind of picking your, uh, your aim point? I think the first, like, thing is to hit the net. I think, I mean, you, if you hit it off the glass and it goes all the way out, it's a free breakout for the other team. Um, but I think also like trying to hit the right side of the net is more preferable than the left just because it can create a rebound for someone else. And if you hit it to the left, it's either coming back to you or going into the corner. So I think hitting the net's the first goal. And then if I can go on the right side, that would be ideal. Kind of the next thing with your game, and I think this is something that since I've been your teammate, I've seen you improve a lot and is that you're very multidimensional meaning you have this great shot, but you don't rely on it. I mean, I think we've all seen you score many of these goals, but you actually, and this really impressed me the first few times I actually watched you play, was your ability to score in tight. And so I think for you, when a defender has to play you tight to prevent you from shooting, you have learned how to just expose them going on the outside. So that's the next thing we're going to kind of touch on with you, is your ability to drive a defender wide and create a great scoring chance at the net. So really on a zone entry, you're carrying the puck in down this left side. You know you can cut in to your forehand and get a shot on. Um, kind of what are you reading in that situation that might force you to, instead of pulling up to take a shot, whether it's a wrist shot or a slap shot, but actually driving wide around that defender and getting behind them? I think like first um, and for foremost, like most people try to cut to the middle and I think as soon as you get to the higher levels, you'll have back checkers or back pressure that's going to be, you're going to directly run into them. So I think I've started to develop just cutting right to the net and obviously it requires skating like combined with crossing over, but also using your body position to get to the net. So Taylor, one of, I think, your biggest strengths is actually you with the puck. I feel like especially in the last few years, you've elevated your just deception with the puck, both um, skating away from the net, which is what we're going to talk about today, but also going towards the net or when you kind of round into the shooting area. Um, you have a great shot. Thank I you. I think you've gotten more comfortable using it. Definitely. Probably Coach Frost is a little happier about Pushing that. Um, in your shot, you're very deceptive as well. Kind of what are the things when you're looking to shoot do you think about it? Do you think about pulling the puck in? Do you think about pushing it away? Do you think about changing angles? Um, I think when I was younger, I tried to teach myself how to pull it every single time. And I feel like now I don't even think about the fact that I pull it. I think in order for me to shoot, I do have to pull it slightly, um, which our goalies in college, they have always said to me, they're like, you don't see it, but you, you're pulling it a significant amount, which they have to change their angle. So I think for me, in order to not think about that, I try to, when I'm looking at the net, more so think about the fact, what hand is the goalie, obviously, um, if they're small, if they're bigger, or if they're how they're holding their blocker. Two goal scorers here as Taylor Heisey fires, she scores! Her first goal! So one of the plays we're going to walk through is actually you ping a puck out of the corner. You scored a goal like this at the World Championship where you kind of cut the high seam in between the defensive player and the defensive winger. I've seen you do this so many times. You're actually not passing it back down low. You've got more comfortable shooting that puck, utilizing your shot. When you're kind of rolling up in these spaces, it always looks like you're looking for a play. How often are you actually waiting for a defender to kind of overcommit versus making that play down low or trying to get them to do what you want? Yeah, I think it kind of depends on the defender for sure. If they're going to honor me and honor my shot, meaning they're going to kind of come out and, and challenge me. And if that happens, I just know that there's always a teammate. They know my tendencies like sit back door. Um, so I think it definitely depends on where the defense are. If there's anyone in the high slot, if the high, if the weak side wing is there, then I tend to try to make a turn around them and maybe make a pass back door. But it kind of all depends on where people are. I feel like I'm pretty comfortable finding those little areas, but I always want to pass. I'd rather make the pass and shoot it, but in a game, if the shot's there, you can't really give you it up. Take it. So. That play is entirely set up by Taylor Heisey. Thank you both for joining me, uh, showing off your skills, taking the time to chat with us a bit. Uh, we can't wait to watch you this season and cheer you on. Hopefully bring home another national championship. Thank, Thank you, you, Kelly. Thank you for having us.